All right, guys, uh, this is just going to be a little quick video. This is from a request on how to make your hacked PSP from or stop from freezing. Uh, it's very simple to do, actually. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your PSP that uh, you have your custom firmware on. And what you're going to do is simply hold your power button in the up position until the whole thing turns off and the green power light stops flashing. Hold down the right trigger in this case uh, the left button that I'm showing you on the left here or the right depends on how you're looking at this and uh, turn the power back on so hold down the R trigger and turn the power back on and you will access your recovery menu so let's get a closer look at this now in the recovery menu we are going to go to configuration and simply just do the following skip sony logo enable that hide corrupt icons enable that game folder homebrew homebrew currently 5.xx kernel leave that as that auto run program at psp slash game slash boot slash eboot dot pvp leave that disabled umd mode change that to m33 driver fake region uh, it depends, you either want to have this disabled or on debug type 1. It depends if you have a PSN enabler or not. So, if you don't have a PSN enabler, leave it on disabled. And if you do, put it on debug type 1, type 2, or type 3. It depends on which one they say to use. Use VSH menu, set that to VSH menu. XMB USB device, you can change that if you wish, but I prefer to leave it at the memory stick unless I'm doing something important. Um... Charge the battery when USB cable is plugged in. Enable that. The M33 network update is not available at all on Gen, but if it is, turn that off. Hide PIC0.png and yada yada. PIC1.png in game menu. Leave that disabled. Use version.txt. Leave that disabled. And hide your MAC address. Leave that enabled. So after following those steps, you're going to scroll down to advanced in the main menu of the recovery menu. And make sure that you format the flash one and reset the settings uh, just for ha-has. It will help a little bit. Um, if you're experiencing freezing, that could also solve the problem. And then your CPU speed, which is very simple. I recommend trying this first. Change your CPU speeds to 333 slash 166. Um, you can either use the VSH menu or the recovery menu. And that's about it. That's how I, pretty much all I can say to stop your PSP from freezing. Um, if you have another, like, if you have your PSP and you have plugins that are for certain firmwares as well, like for an example, there's some plugins that are specifically meant for 5.00 M33 and you're running on 5.50 Gen D3, that could also cause your PSP to freeze because this SE plugin is not made for that firmware. So be aware of that as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, that's about it. So, yeah. So you wanna be aware of your CPU speed you want to be aware of what you have enabled and disabled in your configuration of your recovery menu. And you also want to be aware of what SE plugins you have installed on your memory stick because those can cause your PSP to freeze during gameplay or uh, while you're even on the XMB or even on a boot. So um, make sure you have correct SE plugins for the correct firmwares. Um, not so much a big deal with like... Um, battery power saver, SE plugins, and uh, the PSN enablers and things like that. But uh, other ones such as um, like CXMB, if you have the wrong CXMB for your PSP and you're running on a different firmware, that could cause it to freeze. And uh, anything else other than other than like that, that's uh, specifically for specific versions of homebrew that run on se separate firmwares. Um, and you have an SE plugin for that, that'll also cause it to freeze. So um, that's about it. That's all the advice I can really give you. I can't really do any hands-on stuff because uh, this guy didn't tell me um, exactly what he has installed or um, what he um, actually uses his PSP for or whether or not he's using CSOs or, um, or ISOs, things like that. 
Um, but yeah, all I can basically say is make sure you have everything checked up and uh, don't have the wrong SE plugins for the have them for the correct firmware and um, set everything up in your configuration the way I said and uh, you should be okay. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys and I will talk to you later. Take it easy.